people who want to have a reason to lose they, they have a reason they fall back on like oh yeah i was you know i was injured oh uh, you know this and this happened but it's like hey bro you're fighting for a lot of money like you got to create a show don't don't fight injured especially if your shoulder's popping out of place and you're gonna have a bad fight and i would consider that fight a bad fight just because it was kind of tough to watch kind of wasn't enjoyable it wasn't enjoyable it just simply wasn't I mean, definitely still cool. Nah, definitely still cool to be like, yeah, I'm gonna fight with a broken shoulder for possibly 25 minutes. The grapplers are dominant, definitely best on one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you see like high-level striking, um, you can see how dominant that can be. But it's just, it's just so, it's so wildly different to be exceptionally good at uh, at, at at striking, kind of, kind of the way that. Um, Kind of the way that um, Izzy is, the way that Izzy uh, Sawbender, how good he is at um, at stand up. It kind of shows like it, he is the best example of like wow, stand up game is crazy. Like people who do it the best, they can really, really do it the best. And it's so cool, man. Uh, they know it's only a matter of time. Mm. I think it's crazy they get uh, it's it's nuts that they gave the win to Sean and you can see Sean's face like he knew he didn't actually win but I, I I'm thinking a conspiracy dude I'm thinking they may have conspired against uh, Jan and uh, to, to make to make him win because it's just like I, I really don't know like why would they do that like uh, what do they want they want they want they want O'Malley to fight for the Bantamweight title fight Aljamain yeah, I guess they could, but that and that's a huge money maker. I guess they want to. They want to. I feel like they want to create a new. Um, they want to create a new. What's his name? Um, they want to create a new McGregor. Apparently, McGregor wants to fight too. He keeps posting stuff about it. I saw a post recently. He was like, "Time to get back in the cage." All right, bro. Get back in the cage. Has anyone, has there been any fight where both people retire? I feel like that would be a super cool, like, moment in the UFC or, like, in MMA history where just, like, two greats, like, two, like, legends. Like, okay, say, like, Cowboy and, like, Stephen Wonberg Thompson fought and they were like, all right, we're both retiring at the same time. That would be kind of sick. That would be like, dang, that's so sweet. Obviously, one of them would have lost. One of them would have won. Uh, Melly knew he did enough to win, bro. Bro, kappa, kappa, kappa. Bro's sipping so much opium right now, bro. This this copium that I said opium. Your copium right now is nuts. I'm saying that you are just simply wrong. Hmm. Uh, you're trying to see Mike Tyson come out to out of retirement to murder that influencer kid. Uh, you talking about uh, Jake Paul? You guys hear that Jake Paul, uh, Mike Tyson went in to see Jake Paul training and stayed there for 30, 30 seconds and then walked out. Now, I don't know how to take that. Like, I don't know if it was like, all right, Mike Tyson, like, I that's even enough. This kid, he, he, he's a champion. He's going to win. He's going to win. Or he's like, what am I, what am I watching? This, this kid, he, he's just a kid. He, he doesn't know how to fight. He he thinks, he talks all the time, but he's, he's not, he, he's nothing. He, he knows the talk. He knows like, he know me. He knows like the end of, I'm like the end of.
Uh, that's a little Russian guy, uh, Mohamed uh, Mokev. Uh, you picked him. You picked him for champ a few years. He's big in the UK. Um, had a mad amateur record of twenty and zero or something like that. Dang, dude, that's nuts. Um, I think I did see that fight. I think that fight won fight. Uh, I think I was thinking about it. I was telling Luke like it's either the O'Malley Yawn fight or it's that fight that was fight of the night. Um, the only issue with that was like uh, Yawn uh, lost. So how could that be fight of the night if Yon, if Peter, if uh, O'Malley won that? So yeah, like if who would have got the the win of the night, the fight of the night bonus? Yon Yon should have got the the best performance. Well, I guess actually no, the best performance probably went to uh, Makachev. The uh, the exchanges with O'Malley and Yon were pretty cool. Like how. Uh, he was, they would stumble each other. They would drop each other. That was pretty cool. But I just, I felt like O'Malley knew he lost too. And he just like, I don't know. He's right in on it. <laughs> I, I genuinely want to think it's like a conspiracy. Cause like that, that is nuts. He definitely shouldn't have won. Raging O'Malley didn't go far for any body shots. He got excited. I don't know, dude. I mean, honestly, with Jan being so short, so much shorter than um, than uh, O'Malley, it makes sense for 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 Jan or for uh, O'Malley not to go too much for the body because it is it, it's kind of hard to get to the body for on shorter fighters because you kind of have to bend down a little bit and you're getting you're kind of more a little extended and you can get into their the shorter fighters range. Did you see the video of uh, Islam and um, Islam and uh, Oliveira speaking Portuguese and Russian? Um, okay. I'm trying to make sure I'm trying to find where I was reading. So the bookies now want it for, for him to become a belt holder. A little odds. Um, the little tip is funny. Uh, great respect. Didn't see that will check out. You've seen mad videos listening to training wrists. No surprise. Such strength. And they train everything, right? With dumbbells. Mm -mm. Um, excess Ritalin. <laughs> excess Ritalin. Like the, the study drug. Like the, the ADD drug. I remember one day I wanted to, I wanted, I was having a, I was having a rough day and I heard about Rillin and Adderall and I, I started asking around like if anyone had any because I wanted to take one for the, the ACT. This is back when I was like a book, book person. I, I very much like studying and I wanted to go to school and stuff. And I, my only issue is like focus while I'm taking lo long tests and falling asleep. So I was like, bro, if I was, if I got some excess Ritalin, sheesh. If I had some, if I had some excess Adderall, sheesh. No, I'm not promoting this for anyone. Don't do it. It is a prescribed drug, and it's it can pretty. It can mess you up. But also, it's kind of like 30% of uh, college students use it that aren't prescribed for it. Hey, Cindy from Sydney with the rage with 78 viewers. That's what I'm talking about. Good morning, good morning, Ray from Sydney. This is an early stream for for Sydney, isn't it? In it. Early stream for Sydney. In it. Actually, no. Sydney be streaming for long hours a lot. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for the raid, Sydney. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we're from Sydney. From Sydney. Wow. Wow. What a great group of people. What a great group of people you have. Food stream. Yes, we are making food. 
I shouldn't be just chatting though. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Shadow Smirker. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Um, Joff, thank you, thank you. Joff, Joff, Joffer. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Vincent Van Gogh is in here. What's up, what's up? Destroy your storm. Good morning. Mia's in here. Hello, hello. Uh, yeah, yeah. Destroy your storm. Be modern. Destroy your storm. Do be modern. Silver Bell TTV. Uh, you were at Zona Baker for a year. Uh, it was fun. Nice, nice, nice. This is a, uh, this is a whole little little thing for me. This is a. Uh, I guess I should do an introduction of who I am, right? Uh, first, uh, Sydney from Sydney. Thank you again. If any of my viewers drop a follow for Sydney, Sydney is an amazing music streamer. Um, from, from Sydney, uh, and their their name is Sydney. Um, all right, me. I am Hung Ek. I am from Kentucky. This is where the donut shop is. I've grown up in donut shop my entire life. I actually have Baker's lung, a form of asthma that I developed when I was a very young kid uh, because my dad would take care of me in the middle of the night and now I got Baker's lung. Anyway, um, I have been um, learning how to make donuts since I was 14. I've been helping in donuts since I was four. I have uh, I have 15 years of work experience. I, I can write it down on the resume, um, but I'm not looking for any job type soon. So I'm doing pretty good, doing pretty good over here. Um, I can speak Spanish. Um, um, if that made sense, I don't know if it did or not. Um, if you guys, if any, any Khmer people in here, but. Ooh, la la. Ooh, dang. Should I start hitting y'all with some Espanol? Si se puede. Yes, I can, bro. Yes, I can. No suena mal. Um, all right, bro. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, sueña, I always, th whenever I say that word, I think of sleep. Um, so, but I may be thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you said you slept bad. My bad, bro. If uh, my Spanish isn't isn't good, my Spanish is pretty bad. Ahora mi español es muy es un poco mal porque no no practico. Um, estaba practicando para para como como seis meses uh, antes ir a México. Pero ya, ya seis meses después, no, an, no después de mi vacación. Y ahora, un poco mal. I got pretty bad at Spanish. I just haven't been speaking it a lot. I feel like the words come out nicely, uh, especially more recently. Um, but every now and again, it's just like my Spanish doesn't want to work. It just, it like hides. I noticed a lot recently. It's just like the words I want to say like don't come out and I'm almost like searching for the word and then sometimes I find it sometimes I don't and then I have to find the replacement word or like I make my sentence longer than it has to be. Um, but I do want my, eventually my Spanish to be pretty good. But yeah, I, I just make donuts. Uh, I'm not as talented as like other people on Twitch where they can sing and stuff. I always wish that I could have it. Um, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, trying to learn it, uh, still working on it. Uh, great language, yes. Spanish is super cool. We need donut makers like me. Are you spitting? Yo, Cindy might be spitting though. <laughs> you li oh yo, I'm lying. I play on the guitar, bro. I sh I should I should I actually did want to. I was gonna buy a guitar. I was gonna learn how to play it. And then there was one day where I wanted to just whip out the guitar and start jamming out. Um, but sadly, I haven't gotten my guitar yet. So maybe one day. I don't know if I want to get an acoustic or a. Uh, I know uh, steel strings are supposed to be like really hard to do, uh, or they're supposed to play for a long time, um, like hours a day, but also I, I don't plan to be practicing for more than like 30 minutes a day or playing for more than 30 minutes a day. So I feel like if I got a guitar, I feel like it'd be kinda kind of sick. And it would be just, it would be so cool to play that, dude. <sighs> Teleporters across the world to memoir. And that's what I need to do, dude. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make a note out there. All right, just donuts, each sentence, donuts are great, yum, yum. It's sure an art uh, to make such delicious things. Mm -mm. Oh, you're an Iron Mouse sub. I just saw your Iron Mouse uh, emote. I haven't watched an Iron Mouse stream in a while. I don't know if she wants to move to YouTube. Um, let me show you beautiful pastry making hands. Go with uh, nylon classical. Is that what y'all thinking? All right, what's the best music for like salsa, like uh, Spanish? All right, look up La Espalda, the the uh, Bleach, the Bleach um, soundtrack. And tell me what's what kind of guitar is the best for making that kind of sound? Uh, Shock Rizzle, a uh, late Cindy Raid, you're lurking, don't it, guy? It's me, it's me. You weren't that late. You're like, uh, like two, three minutes. It shouldn't be that bad. 
Yes, a man of culture knows Iron Mouse. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I Sea Dog VA, that's the homie. I, I feel like if I met the Trash Days boys, my life would be. Uh, I've met I've met cool YouTubers. I met Jujutsu. I met Donor Operator. I've met um, a lot of the Black Rifle guys. Uh, a lot of people that you know are in the San Antonio Donor Operator crew area, um, and they're all really cool to meet. But uh, it would be cool to like meet like like PewDiePie. I feel like would be like that too, where it was like a, a like a childhood kind of thing. Like I grew up actively like waiting for a video to like Jesse the guy and Markiplier, bro. I would. I would. I feel like I would faint if I met them. Um. All right, I may want a flam flaminsa. All right, bro. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to spend too much money. All right, bang iron. One with wing. Restrained bro. Shut up. Uh, Ling Huang, thank you for the follow. Um, Yamaha was a good good starter for you. Okay, okay. Um, Jamie Iron Mouse. Iron Mouse is a VTuber. Plays games. Um. You got into Infinity Study Glitch right now. Nice, nice, nice. Um, whoa, gonna kiss. Whoa. <laughs> that emote is so funny. Who? Dropout Candy has the, the kissing emote. That's hilarious. He has some friends that are very distinct. A guitarist fingertips. Just really hard fingertips on the left hand. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, also, Spanish guitar is a thing, which is a nylon. It's a nylon. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Everyone with class uh, knows the mouse. Yes, yes, indubitably, indubitably. I went to TwitchCon. I did not go to TwitchCon. If I was talking about YouTubers and stuff, I was talking about um, just like the fact that I like I've met a couple YouTubers. Um, I've been flown out. Uh, my my juicy coach. He's a big YouTuber. Actually, wearing a shirt today. He um he had uh what did he do? He does jujitsu content, and uh, he's just my he's actually my uh, jujitsu coach. I made two star white belt under him that I've been a two star white belt for two years because I haven't decided I want to do jujitsu enough to become a higher belt. But every every now and again I think about jujitsu and I'm like, dang, I really want to like become a higher belt or I just really want to start training jujitsu again. I think deeply about wrestling, and I wish I could do more wrestling. <laughs> big jujitsu tips. You're a big fan of that guy, jujitsu, jujitsu or don't operator. Good podcast. Um, who you, wait, who are you talking about? All right, you expect uh, to hear some more Tim Hansen guitar skills in like a month? In a month, bro? I have to get good as Tim Han I don't even know who Tim Hansen is. I just, I'm going to assume he's good. I'm trying to be as good as like... All right. I don't know, dude. I just, I just want to be, I just want to be good. I just want to be good enough to like play something and people will not like, oh, that, oh, you just missed a note there. Oh, you just missed a note there. Oh, you missed a note there. I would also like to be able to like free flow. And like, oh dang, nice riff, dog. And like, thanks, man. Came with that one off the top of my noggin. I feel like that would take me a really a long time. My friend, my friend JT, he recently got super, super good at. Uh, it's kind of like unexpected. He just started playing the playing the drums, and he got really good at the drums. All right, the real Drac Ohm. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, Tim Hansen, guitar player from uh, Polyphia. Oh, bro, Polyphia. I love Polyphia. I forgot how to say the name properly. Pro 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 is it supposed to be like prolific and then prolifia? Prolif prolif I love for, uh, I, I know them from Tim the Tapman. Man. Right, years ago, um, he was just talking about like certain, certain like instrumental kind of bands he liked, and he mentioned that one. And I've I listened to their stuff pretty often. Not often, I mean like once a month, but you guys get me. Uh, polyphia, poly, polyphia, 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 polyphia. Yes, yes, yes. Nice, very nice, very nice. Go listen to them. Yes, please, please, please. Prolifia, 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 prolifia. Mm -mm -mm. So this you'll need. Oh, I met this dude who, uh, who uh, probably is Japanese and like his 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 like friend group isn't super supportive. I feel like I feel like I met a lot of people at this party who just like were very um, they don't get the ability to share their their love for things. So like I remember talking to this one dude um, about speaking Japanese, right? And he was a cool dude. Um, and he mentioned that I was like the best non Japanese Japanese speaker he's ever met. And I was like, bro, I know like eight words, bro. Like I know anime Japanese. I don't. I barely know anything. And he was like, I don't know, bro. You speak pretty good. I'm like, thanks, man. He's like, uh, Nihongo Josie, bro. Thanks, thanks. Um, but, uh, yeah. And then I was talking to this one dude. His wife was so mad at him. 
like anytime you bring out like I'm not that drunk, I'm not that drunk, honey. And he, she would be like, like because I took a shot away from you, you know. And I, they they're just like trying to argue. And I was like, and like whenever I was just talking to him, we were talking about cars and stuff. And she was like, oh, he just likes to argue. And then I was kind of like, I was just kind of like talking them out through it. And he, I just felt like he was like, oh, this guy's so nice. So I was like, thanks, thanks, very nice, very nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Perifia is awesome too. Perifia is that an actual place or no? Uh, what a snowflake! Some people think that they're main character. I think what it is is just people being repressed. Genuinely, I think people just like they don't get people to talk to. They don't people. They don't have people that share their same interests. Um, they almost just like the what the the lady definitely seemed like she was a bit of like she wanted to be the main character. She just like if her if her man was having fun, she didn't want to. She felt like she should be having fun too. Um, it kind of, it was kind of, it was kind of interesting to see that. I went in as a Starbucks bartista. Uh, I had a couple people like look at me like, all right, so how do you make a, a caramel macchiato? I'm like, bro, I have zero idea. I don't actually work there. My friend's just a manager, and you know, I had to explain it. And I was like, nah, I make donuts. Like, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't work at Starbucks. I just, this is my friend's stuff. I'm just wearing it. Not the guy with the watch chiming in. I mean, I don't know, but it was like worse. It was like worse than her just chiming in. It was like her like trying to strike down the conversation. And I was like, wow, these people are so repressed. And I could tell like he was very happy to talk about stuff. Just talking about random stuff. Like I was asking about his tattoos and stuff. Um, and I could see his wife was like doing like the head shake, like disappointed child or like, I don't know. It was just kind of an, it was kind of interesting to see. And then one of one of my sister's friends, they were clowning this other, the same dude who was speaking Japanese, who was wearing the toe socks. He was wearing like the um, Ashi Tama 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 something. Um, and it's um, it's just like a type of sock for your leg, a Japanese sock. And it's um, it has like the the big toe, you know, like you know, like the like the, your big toe separated from all your other toes for sandals. And um, I was just talking about, like, bro, those are sick. And then, like, one of my sister's friends were, like, clowning on him. And I was like, nah, bro, those are sick. Those are, those are dope. I'm the donut guy. I am the donut guy. Yes. Yes. So, Perifia is also another band. I got you. I got you. All right. It's 432. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Call Luke. Luke did not answer his first phone call. Let's see if he can if he can start changing that. I'm gonna mute it real quick. I had a uh, situation. Luke's still not answering. Oh, hello, hello. Uh, I had a situation where um, a girl who had a boyfriend wanted me. Um, and I was very... Um, it was a very interesting experience. But she was very pretty. And uh, maybe next time. Maybe next time to that lady. <laughs> not that for sure next time, bro. For sure. Me and Luke gonna be talking about this forever. <laughs> hey, bro. Luke was there. Luke was there. <laughs> What a crazy, bro, like genuinely top, top three nights of my life, uh, just hanging out with my older sister and her friends and my older brother-in-law's friends and just kind of everyone. It was, it was just like a cool, very cool moment, cool thing to be a part of. 
Bro, Luke needs to hurry up and wake up. I don't know if my phone's on Do Not Disturb. Oh, dang, that's crazy. Oh, dang, it's crazy. Yeah, what time you want? All right, Luke says he wants to work half a day, but I have no idea if he's thinking like he wants to come in later or right now. So what happened? Um, so this girl, right, she she wanted me. She was like, she was super um, attentive to me. Her friends, her friends ended up saying like she was, she was, she just wanted attention. Um, uh, and just that's kind of what happened. Muffled Thief, good morning, good morning. But very, very, very interesting. Interesting experience for sure. Just like she was uh, someone prone to bad decisions when under the influence. But it's alright. Yeah, I may have been an idiot. Yeah, I may have been super bad at beer pong, but it's alright. Yeah, it's alright. Uh, Mobile Thief, how's it going? It's going great. It's going great. I came back from my trip. I'm recapping a little bit. Um, very enjoyable, for sure. 10 out of 10. I would recommend it. I I'm, I, I always love realizing like how great my family is. Um, it's very, very cool. So I played beer pong. Yeah, and I, I sucked. I was really bad. And there was a girl. So I played beer pong and there was a girl. Well, I got invited by this girl to play beer pong with my brother-in-law. And I told my brother-in-law, like, bro, I'm not going to win. Like, this is, I told her I wasn't going to win. Like, I told her, like, bro, like, there is no way I would beer pong against my older brother-in-law. And it was worse than that. I just, like, I literally didn't get close to any of them. Uh, I have other reasons for that, but I don't need to explain them. Um, but uh, very, very wild. Very crazy. I'm good at making donuts. I'm good at fighting. No one decided to put on boxing gloves, and I was very upset that no one wanted to because I would have I would have whooped some boys. Um, and I feel like that would have made me. I feel like that just would have been cool. This story sucks. Yeah, it does kind of suck. I, I don't want to get too in the juicy details. Um, it just, it's, it's all right. It, the story didn't go as, go as like great. ¿Qué haces? Ahora, ahora haciendo los donas. Corta la mesa. How do you say dough in Spanish? Mezcla? I think mezcla is the right way to say dough, right? It's like a mixture. Ahora uh, cortando. La mezcla. Y pone los donas. Uh, separados. <laughs> separated. I don't even know how to say separate in Spanish. I said separados. Like, like maybe that is the right word. I'm just putting Spanish and then making it sound... Or putting English and making it sound Spanish. Uh, but yeah, it's all separated. Bro, I say I speak Spanish. I really don't. Um, separar. Okay. Separar. Separar. So, separo would be like I am separating. Or separando. Ahora separando. I, I was pretty close. I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty close. Uh, ahora separando los donas y pone en la tray. Los screens. Uh, you just got out of the hospital. For what happened, my man? Uh, esto bueno tu español. Muchas gracias, pero pero pienso que es uh, un poco mal. Es como como un chiste, como un como un uh like a facade like it's fake it's like it doesn't feel like it's real my spanish it feels like i'm just kind of pretending to speak spanish uh sient, sient, siento como un un juego como un juego yeah you fucked up again how did what happened bro you hit a deer dang where what, what state do you live in is it like I, I, bro how are you like how, what happened i'm just Deer strikes, hey man, them 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 some them some tough tough things to go through. You're in Canada, dang! You had a big one too. Did you hit a big one, or you hit like a? Did you hit like a world record buck or something, or did you hit a? A regular guy. Uh, am I Latino and Asian? I am Latino and Asian, Sunny. I am half. Uh, you can actually guess. You can guess what uh, forms of Latino and what form of Asian I am. Not form, I guess. Uh, what? Like, what kind? What country are my parents from? How about that? Está bueno. Uh, está bueno uh, poder hablar. Y o oh, entiendo otro idioma. Uh, no te cuesta mucho. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yo, me entiendo, me entiendo. I like it, I like it. I appreciate the kind words, bro. Um, it definitely is cool to like kind of just like chill and uh, just listen to people talk. Um, it's it's uh, with Spanish too. It's kind of interesting that uh, most people don't when they see me, they don't think I can understand Spanish. So that they they'll say things about me or about people like around me, and I'll tell them like, "Hey, bro, he just said this or that." Mexican and Chinese, you got Mexican right. We're I'm not Chinese. Um, all right, so you hit him, you lost control, flipped the car in a ditch. Sheesh. Did the uh, did the deer make it out? I've seen I've Ricky actually had an accident where uh, he hit a deer. The deer hit his his passenger wind uh, not windshield his passenger um, his passenger window just rammed right into it. Its neck was caught inside the car and Ricky was driving 50 miles an hour. The uh, he starts to slow down. The the deer jumps out and runs off, and the deer survived. You hit a deer at about 60. Sheesh. Sheesh, man. Is the car insurance and stuff good? I know that you got the free healthcare, but like, are you are you still like in all things considered? How how is it how's it going? You're alive for sure for sure. Do you feel any like um? Do you feel any like uh life occurring event? Do you feel like this will be a life occurring event to you, like uh or life altering event? Or uh, what do you think? Uh, yeah, Luke is just not answering his phone, so I guess I have to call Sky now. And there's a possibility that he just doesn't come in at all. I kind of wanted Luke to come in. I kind of want to talk to him. I don't really want to mess with Sky today. I'm starting to realize, like, it's, it is really crazy the way that Sky acts. It is, um, it's not, it's almost just, like, unnatural. It's, like, what, what is, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Sky is a very interesting person, and I hope that one day he grows up to be a bright person. But I just feel like he's been uh, he's been quite the silly goose recently. All right. That's crazy. I'm streaming to how many people right now? I'm streaming to 105 people. Dang, people are really watching me like that. That's wild. Imagine I had this every day. Bro, the ad revenue would be nuts. Wow. Um, hey, Tang. Luke isn't answering. Um, so it looks like we gotta. I need you to help. And uh, y'all gone, Malini. Som, Tang, Som. All right, and uh, if you could. What an interesting guy Sky is. Oh, we also got pulled over. I don't know. I forgot if I mentioned that. Uh, yeah, Luke got pulled over um, in Alabama. And it looks like we're going to be paying quite a... He's going to be paying quite a hefty fine. I'm probably going to help him pay it because uh, I actually saw the cop. And uh, Luke was doing a maneuver that, you know, you shouldn't be doing on... You kind of shouldn't be doing, especially in front of a cop. And the cop was like, bro, did you even see me? And Luke was like, no, I didn't see him. And I saw the cop, um, and I just didn't call it out. I just was like, all right, Luke definitely saw him because we drove literally right beside it. And I was just like, all right, sheesh. Uh, Killer Vision, sheesh. Good morning. Imagine being hung. Imagine, bro. Um, hmm. I'm sorry, I'm not catching up with chat right now. Chat's moving pretty quick. But you're moving now, nice. It's been uh, it's been a pretty shitty week and a half. Got you, got you, got you. Hmm. Yeah, for the first few days you couldn't move your legs. Man, it sucks. If not Korean, last guess Japanese. Uh, uh Cambodian. Um neck hurt, neck injury, uh deer's insurance info. Ooh. <laughs> As for the deer's insurance, smart. Alright, con cuidado entiendo todo. Yeah, I say cop what's with all the white powder so don operator was telling me one time he was a he was a cop and he pulled someone over and they were driving pretty erratically when he when he talked to them they were like super nervous super stuttery and he had white powder on his his shirt so donut was like bro you're definitely on coke and dude's like no 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 i'm not i'm not 
and he um, he sh- he wrote out a receipt for a powdered donut, and the donut operator is like, shit, he proved it. <laughs> so, bro did not get go to jail for co- for possession of cocaine or suspicion of cocaine. It just it was a powdered donut. And then I brought up like, dang, that's smart. Get a powdered donut receipt every time you get put over and be like, no, I swear it's not the cocaine. <laughs> My dad's house has been searched for. One time he got put over in um, Texas and he would ride around with a lot of cash back in the day. And one time he got put over, taking the kids to school or taking them from school back to the house. And uh, they put him over in the Supra and um, they asked him like, all right, how do you have all this money? How do you have this car? All the different things. And my dad was like, yeah, I have a donut shop. I have a couple of them. And they just didn't believe him. They uh, ended up searching his apartment. He was clear. And... But that always, like, talks about that story in, like, a very, like, like, gosh, those cops, like, with such anger. He was mad that they were never, um, they never said sorry, yeah. You would have never guessed Cambodian, uh, but cool, thank you, thank you, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely cool, yeah. I would, I would, I would say it's pretty cool. It's cool being mixed. And it's cool I got to, like, experience both sides, um... I feel like as I've gotten older, I've been able to appreciate more so the difference in both sides of my family. Uh, the Cambodian side, um, obviously being American is also pretty cool. Um, seeing like American culture within like my friends or within like the things that happen. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool for sure. Cambodian and Mexican making donuts sounds like very California. Um, yeah, my parents actually met in Texas. Yeah, my parents met in Texas. They moved to Kentucky and uh, they both ran a donut shop here in Kentucky for a very long time. Nearly, nearly 20 years. Nearly 20 years. Uh, the coppers here seem more laid back than USA. Big juicy tips. Uh, what, 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 where are you, my man? I think I've asked you this before, but I, I'm not sure if you're comfortable as- answering. Right. You see what the uh, offcuts are for? The offcuts are for? Oh, yeah. These, like, offcuts, sometimes I'll make them into more twists or I'll... Um, do some different things with them, but actually most of the time they just get remixed into more scraps or they get turned into um, apple fritters Yeah, you like German cops. They're chill AF. Nice. 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 You live in Ireland, right? Right. 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 Were you the person I asked to do a um, my mom asked to Do a Irish accent or to, uh, to to speak on stream Not on stream, but like send a recording in Edobot, Cambodian. Oh, my bad. I already read that one. Yo, Garda. What? Uh, from hearing your Spanish, it's not uh, it's not fluent. No shade. Uh, but in my Cambodian fluent. My Cambodian is not fluent either. Um, my Kamai, uh, I can trick people into thinking I'm fluent for a little bit. Um, I speak very basic, but what I do speak is pretty good. So most people, and I speak with a pretty decent accent. So people think. I also speak with slang. I speak um, city talk Cambodian. Like very urban, very um, modern, I guess, where I skip a bunch of words and people think I'm like, oh shit, he's with it. Like, he, oh my gosh, like this kid is like born in Cambodia. And then they're like, oh, never mind. He just, he only knows like eight words. And I'm like, yep, yep. So for the first like minute of a conversation, I'll trick like older people into thinking I'm really good at Kamai. But um, my Spanish is probably a lot better. Like, I can communicate a lot more things in Spanish. Now, in fluency-wise, it's not great. But uh, I can speak more Spanish. I can speak way more Spanish than I can speak Kamai. But uh, my Kamai probably sounds better to, like, a, an actual speaker. I feel like a Spanish speaker could immediately tell, like, within, like, five seconds that I'm not a native. But a Cambodian speaker, it would take them a little bit more time. Uh, but they would realize, like, how minimal my actual language is. No, that we know the bad words first. Oh yeah, always, always. No me digas mamadas. <laughs> no me digas mamadas. Oh bro, I love the phrase no me digas mamadas. No me digas mamadas. No me digas mamadas, wait. I was using that one a lot at the party. I just thought it was funny. It looked like I had purpose for what I was uh, cutting and throw away. Yes, yes, yes. Is what uh, they parents were yelling at us. Spitting, spin, spin facts, bro. I remember I used to say Chong Mala and I a lot, and it, what it means is mother effer in, uh, in Kamai, and it was very, uh, very funny. Fritters, whatever fritters do I use, bro? Stop asking me this question. 
Stop asking me this question. Just stop. Just stop. You know I can't give you the answer. You know the proprietary soul, the, the different proprietary peoples don't want that information known. Um, hey Siri, bro, I kind of wish Luke would at least give me an update, but I think Sky will be on the way soon, so that'd be cool, but I still would like for Luke to come over, and this phone may have actually run out of battery too, that would kind of suck, because I'm calling him and his phone's going straight to voicemail. How unpatriotic of me not to use American-made apples. You know, most apples are frozen for, like, over a year before they're actually used in, like, most stores. You know that? It's pretty crazy. I remember seeing uh, How It's Made. Uh, How It's Made, if you guys remember that show on... I forgot what network it was on. Um, but it was pretty good. I remember them talking about apples and how they're made. And how, um, yeah, they're only, they only... They're made, like, a year before frozen and then and then yeah what prizes of freezing are your apples preserved with bro i got zero fucking idea <sighs> this guy bro you see this you see all of this right here pancake factory bang bro that's you look at you all smushed down like that better watch out watch your days count your days to liquid nitrogen <sighs> yeah the donuts I, the apples i use are probably frozen yes <laughs> and yeah liquid nitrogen kills everyone so i think everyone's kind of allergic to it so if it applies to your skin it blisters real bad gives it bad 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 issues like that actually could you be allergic to the process of being very cold I mean, I guess, I guess as normal people, right? I guess people are hypothermic or people become, you know, hypothermia. You could consider it, and no, I wouldn't consider it an allergen. I would just consider it a hypothermia. It just is hypothermia. I don't think people are technically allergic to it. All right. Um, how, do you, how did you use the pastime before streaming? I would listen to the podcast and stuff. I actually really, really enjoy it. I really enjoy listening to the podcasts and uh, like, it was definitely more boring back in the day. Or not even more boring. Um, I don't know. What did I do? I mean, it was kind of just like I listened to music. I listened to uh, podcasts and stuff. The days I hate the most these days are days that I want to stream, but I'm a little bit late. And I know, like, dang, I really shouldn't stream today because I need to I need to get my I need to be as fast as possible. Uh, streaming doesn't take away that much time for me. As you guys can see, I can talk and work. But I definitely um, spend more time maybe than I should uh, streaming and focusing on stream than sometimes like my work because sometimes we'll fall behind in the front and it's like well i could have helped and we wouldn't have fallen behind and my stream would have been better but instead i'm stressed so i just figure it out
Wim Hof ain't allergic. Spitting, bro. Bro is spitting. Uh, the cold showers are fun. Good for you, too. Mm, mm, mm. I'd be taking cold showers, especially now that it's uh, winter time. Uh, man, that water, that thing touches your body like, damn, that shit is cold. I'd be messing with cold showers. It's just, it, it is sometimes brutal. It is, it can get very, very beautiful, brutal. Jump in, suck it up, tell everyone it's awesome. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, no surprise, Scandinavians uh, live mad age. Oh, yeah, yeah, like they live a long time. Well, they also use sauna saunas too. So, like in uh, Finland, they did a study on um, people, because it's like a very common thing in Finland, too, that like kind of everyone has a sauna. Every family has a sauna. Everyone has their own individual, you know, kind of deal. Um, and so the they find that people who don't use sauna in Finland, the all course mortality, all course mortality drops 50, 50% for like all, all people. It's, it's pretty wild. Sauna culture is weird. I've never experienced sauna, sauna culture. What do you mean by this? Do you mean by like the people who don't wear like anything, people that go in nude? Are you talking about that kind of stuff? I mean, I think it's like, I mean, they would think that you're weird for like caring that much, you know? I think it just depends where you are. Here in uh, so uh, SoCal, you guys do ice baths. Mm, mm, mm. You ever just in the sauna and the boy is just like, uh, hey man, why is your, uh, why do you have underwear on? <laughs> and you're like, oh shit, let me take that off real quick. Okay, that's what I do. Um, you drink your own sweat when you're in the sauna. You can stay uh, in there longer while hydrated. Yes, yes, I'd be, I, I, I drink a lot of water while I'm in the sauna. Mr. Krillex with the with the hydrate. I got you, dude. Alright, uh sauna water, uh if you get some. <laughs> yeah, bro, drinking that sweat, drinking that sauna water. Bro, you should see me. You should see me in the sauna. I, I go in with my uh, my Crocs slides, and I'll lift my slides up, and you just see sweat running down my slides. Joe Rogan is a meathead. <laughs> Even Joey Rogan gets on it. Mm -mm. Good for the skin. It definitely is good for the skin. Well, hey, bro, you ain't going to deny that Joe Rogan looks amazing for 50, 54 or 52, however old he is. Uh, he's indeed TRT for life. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, he's older. I mean, I think it's a good thing for older people to get into TRT because it's like, yeah, it's just, just better for you. Now, here's the thing, though. With anything that makes you feel better for lo for longer, it's also going to shorten your life. So, I mean, it's kind of like, what do you want? Do you want to be healthier for longer? Or do you want to be, uh, do you want to be, I mean, it's not like it shortens your life, life, but it also doesn't. But you also have a better like product productivity. So I, I people that go on TRT in general have pretty pretty happy results. They get they get pretty happy that they they've gotten better at that. Uh, Dave Goggins, funny fucker too. Yeah yeah yeah. Um, me and Luke, we love this one. Uh, if you look at Cameron Haynes and David Goggins working out together, there's one video where David Goggins is is uh, is is bench pressing. And, and uh, the guy behind the camera is like hyping him up. He's like, who's gonna carry the boats and the law? Oh no, uh, David Goggins says, oh, who's, who's gonna carry the boats Ooh, and the logs? And then the cameraman goes, that's you, buddy. And it's so funny. 
Uh, all right, sauna seems like a more male dominated. Uh, you always thought for older males, females more in cryo, cryo and ice bath dominated. I don't know if that's like a, a true thing. I don't know. I mean, I think I think it's kind of like people who are into into saunas or into ice baths. They're kind of into it, um, culturally anyway, and like depending where you're from. I mean, maybe in like the modern modern like today today in California or wherever in America, it may be more like that. But in like Finland or in Scandinavia, it's kind of like everyone does it. Everyone saunas. Everyone ice baths. It's just kind of like part of the culture. Uh, everyone everyone does it. So it's not really like a male female thing. It was just kind of like everyone does it. And like in those family ones, th there's no like, a lot of times they, it's not separated. It's just the whole fam goes in there. They're all chilling. Or I guess not really chilling. They're just like that. They don't know me, son. They don't know me, son. They don't know me, son. We're going to steal some souls. They don't know me, son. They don't know me, son. I did pretty good today. I got three trays of twists within uh, within a uh, pretty short amount of time. Very, very, very good. <sighs> they don't know me, son. They don't know me, son. We gonna steal some souls. Who's gonna carry the boats? Boat team two. Boat team two. He did well. Goggins turned life around. Yes, yes. I feel like it's very inspirational for anyone who wants to make a big life change is looking into people like David Goggins. Because he's someone who, like, from 460 pounds, I, I forgot how much he actually weighed at his heaviest. I think maybe 360. Um, but he, you know, lost all that weight. Looked great. Became a Navy SEAL. Yeah. Uh, 80s culture, guys just don't care about the skin. I I be taking care of my skin. I got uh, I use uh. I should do more, um, but I you know I wash my face pretty regularly, a couple times a day, um, and I use uh the facial cleanser. I try to use always use the it's not Liboderm. That's the lotion I use, but the uh, the other thing. What is it called? The facial cleanser. Um, C Cerave 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 yeah. I said drowning seems crazy. Seal training, I'd be gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm a terrible swimmer. Me, Luke, and our friend JT, we joke about like, dang, could we become Navy SEALs? Or like, we should become Navy SEALs. And every time I hear stories about buds, or I hear stories about like, yeah, average sleep 25 minutes a day. Oh yeah, for sure, man. That's me. No, it's not. I'm not. I'm not that. Like, bro, I need. I need at least. I, I need at least one hour, bro. I need at least an hour a night of sleep. But bro, they, they got in Hell Week. That's even 25 minutes a night. Sheesh. Not even in a night, just like any time. Just like, all right, sleep. All right, just kidding. You ain't sleeping no more. Get up. Run in miles a day. If you want to eat, you have to run for it. Yeah, seals are really built different. I think I think I could access that part of my mind. I think everyone could. Um, but I feel like my mind, I could access it. Uh, I just have to like give up everything. I have to give up all all like uh, all goals. All um, I think like I have to become the avatar. I have to, uh, I have to stop my desire for love, stop my desire for, uh, for money, financial goal, anything except for becoming a Navy SEAL. Frogman. We are firemen. I feel like I could have been a pro boxer or a pro uh, fighter. Just like a cash. Uh, I, I feel like it would have been cool to just be like a cash prize fighter.
All right, I guess Luke just isn't coming in. Um, all right, sorry, I have to text Lee Hu. Um, yeah, see, Rich and Kreller always need, uh, always need good snooze. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, cool DM tray is full. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, y'all never talk to relationship yet. When you're when you're arguing all night, no sleep, zombie mode. Next next day of work. Uh, no, I I have never had a toxic relationship. I've actually never had a relationship. Y'all believe that? Y'all believe I've never had a girlfriend or not? Nah? I I've told that a couple people on chat. I told people come in real life, and they're like, bro, there's no way. And I'm like, I think people when they figure it out, they're like, oh yeah, no, nah, I get it. Like yeah, you never had a girlfriend. I'm just very scared of women. That's it. I don't like going out to people in general. <laughs> uh, Hung, where do you send in me those damn donuts? Oh yeah, you said something about app for there. Uh, shit. When am I? When am I sending you those donuts? Um. Honestly, I want to hire someone. Like, bro, I'll give someone five bucks. I'll give someone five schmackaroos. And they can figure out how to ship donuts and just send me all the information I need to know relative to like where I live. And bro, I'll send you a free, I'll send you donuts. So the person who figures it out, send me all the information. I'll send you donuts. Pancake Iron Factory, you into that? You can do that. All right, bro, bet. Get me, get me right. You know, let me see how much it costs. I'll still send you the donut, even if it costs a lot of money, like 30 bucks. I mean, I would hope it doesn't cost any more than that, but over overseas shipping, I know it's going to cost a bit. Hey, bro, I'm into that. I'll be, you'll be the experiment. You'll be the guinea pig. And if you die, you get, you get no, uh, you get no, uh, you can't sue me. Sorry. Uh, small Oz, bro, orders fresh, bro. He do, he do be ordering fresh. He's like that. He's really like that. Make some time. Where's the finish line? So keep your love locked down, your love locked down, keeping your love locked down, your love locked down, keep, keep your love locked down, your love locked down, can keep your love locked down, you lose, you lose, way I wanted to. All right, Adi Brav, uh, Nuts away. All right, see you later, Ninja. All right, bro's on the call. You planning on sending internationally or only U.S.? I mean, I can do either or. If I can send it in the U.S., I can send it international too. Right. Uh, they have a box of insulation and freezable gel packs. Mm -hmm. Oh, you order freshly, freshly the uh, food service. I get you now. The, I've seen the ads for them. Okay, so that's what they use. They use like food packs and like the refrigerator boxes. All right. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Uh. Well, I mean, because I Twitch stream, I think it's more a thing of like people would love to order from from the donut shop that way, and it'd be a uh, interesting cash revenue thing I could get into. I mean, it's not, it's not, I'm not saying like I'll only do yes. I would love to be able to ship everywhere. Um, but I mean, for the experiment, you know, last three to two to three days. Yeah. I think, I think priority shipping UPS will work three to two, two day shipping in UPS. Uh, yeah. And I'm probably going to have a uh, mad, mad, uh, can have meal prep, uh, someday. Right, right, right. Now I think, I think it would be smart for, for Amazon to get into that. No, they've got hands everywhere. They really do. Yes, they they really really do. I remember I used to uh, so I used to work for UPS and uh, a lot of boxes I used to come across. And actually, this I had the idea of like shipping donuts for a long time. I remember uh, seeing the boxes there and thinking like, hmm, it'd be interesting. Like I could ship donuts this way. I wasn't streaming at the time. This was like many months before I even like thought about streaming. Um, 
and I just, uh, I just want, I was just thinking about it, I was like, hmm, it'd be an interesting idea. Alright, and back to you, Lurk, um, if you want to use my idea, uh, you want donuts, thank you. Alright, bro, thank you. Well, I don't think I can use someone else's box and their labeling and packaging. Imagine that's what I did. I just got like my weekly freshly shipment and then I just use their boxes <laughs> and I just ship them. I ship out my stuff out of their boxes. That'd be so funny. I just refrigerate their like frozen packs or stuff. It's Wednesday, right? So I don't think I need to... I don't have to make cinnamon rolls and apple fritters right now. Um, I'm actually going to wait a little bit. I'm going to help Sky fry some donuts. Um, so I'm going to put on some gloves. And uh, we're going to move the camera over to the frying area. Uh, I probably won't move the microphone. But I'll be reading chat and coming back. And like turning it up a little bit. Lurk, lurk tea lurking. All right, got you, got you. Um, but we're not done over here at the table. We've still got some, a bunch of stuff to do. I'm just... You get an order freshly. It's like free for the first one. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like it'd be good. Um, I know some companies, they're like, yo, this is cheaper than getting groceries at the store. And I'd be into that. I'm into saving money. But the thing is, I don't live by myself. And I don't want to, like, order, like, I feel like if I'm ordering for a bunch of people, then it becomes like, wow, I'm spending a lot of money on food. I had a pretty big epiphany on the road. I was like, wow, it's just crazy that people, like, they're probably just, like, chilling. And they're like, I should make a business. And then they make a business and make a lot of money. And then it's also, like, a lot of people do that and they don't make, they aren't successful. But the stories of, like, successful business owners are, you know, pretty interesting. Like, over time, people get grander and grander ideas. Like, their children figure out, like, oh, yeah, I should just do this. And, like, my parents could do this forever ago. But, yeah. Like, imagine if my dad got into streaming. Imagine you all knew my dad. That'd be sick. I just took over his stream and stuff. So that would be crazy. Uh, Mego B, good morning, good morning. Um, Julius Chael, uh, were you inside when you had to take over the donuts? Was I inclined? Inclined? Like, uh, inclined like I wanted to do it? Yes. I don't know if you're saying incensed. Are you saying incensed? Like, angry? Uh, I was not angry about taking over the shop. I was very, um, I was very, uh, proactive in trying to take over the shop.
Um, yes, I did very much actually want to run the shop. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Alright, I'm gonna go uh, move the camera around and we're gonna be start uh, frying and stuff. Alright, good business people always have, uh, always gonna be hungry. Yes, very true, very true. Uh, we love cup tea here and donut over uh, coffee, uh, donut Homer Simpson style. Yes, those are very good. like nothing.
having some trouble putting on these gloves. They're being very tricky. My left hand's having some issues. Boom, boom. But when I get this on, we'll be good to go. But we are frying now. All right, I'll try to be attentive to chat a little bit, but honestly, we're gonna be doing this. Uh, I'm gonna try to get back to the Aberfordian Simmer Nose pretty quick though, because uh, we do need them. Hey, hey. Who? Hey, hey. Uh, he did. He didn't get anything, he just wanted to talk a little bit. You're giving the Krispy Kreme making the donuts experience? Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Hopefully mine's better. <laughs> yeah. I like I like I like moving the camera around and stuff. I just hate that my microphone isn't like near me and stuff. So like my audio kinda sucks. But it's alright.
Alright, audio is actually good, crispy, nice, nice, nice. It's crispy, it's just like, it could be closer where I don't have to walk to my, my, my microphone to like actually talk to y'all. I'm just saying it could be better. Look at those. Chris, yummy, bro. Yummy. Looking smacking. Alright, originally, uh, I'm oh, sorry, original, and I know corny, but the original Dunkin' Donuts commercial had an older man saying, time to make donuts. It was still dark, he was yawning and looking sleepy. Uh, I've never seen that, but yeah, I mean, I guess it's because, you know, donuts are made late at night. That's a, I feel like it's a pretty good commercial. It's actually a really good idea commercial. Huh?
Oh, they break it some worm, yes. Donuts are made late at night, they are made late at night. We also need to clean the floor. My bad for not seeing this comment. Um, I kind of just completely forgot my phone was here. All right, most be goods made around 2 a.m. to 7, 10 to 12. Yes, very truing, very truing. Um, here's a here's a post from a dating profile. You notice that especially, all right, uh, you notice that you're not especially hairy. 
at least on my arms. Uh, important to some girls, uh, Tihi. So I should write down on my, like my dating profiles that I'm not hairy. I actually am pretty hairless. I'm I'm not hairless. I'm just very little hair. It's from my Asian jeans. My dad actually had no hair except for his, like his armpits. His you know like the normal spots have hair, but he had like no body hair everywhere else. Uh, these ones look, look good, but your favorite is a chocolate dip raspberry filled jam. Really? We actually don't get those very often. We get, uh, we have to special make them. Um, yeah, cause you, because B.I.P. Alex is your dream guy, but he's so hairy. Anyways, love watching the frying and frosting. Way cool. Wait, B.I.P. What is that? Bachelor? What? I don't know what B.I.P. is. I feel like I have the kind of body hair where it's like, yeah, I should just shave it all because it just doesn't look good. What? Your head hair or your body hair? Your head hair? Why not? Mom doesn't want you to? Mom doesn't let you? Or mom doesn't want you to cut your hair or what? Are you so deciding? Oh, I left a big one up here. Do you have the roof on? Oh. Open sign. We got the roof open sign. So I'm running the scraps a little bit, putting some water in there, but yeah. Should have probably done it a little earlier too. Um, you love for watching Smarty Pants, Beach in Paradise, gotcha, gotcha. Or Bachelors in Paradise, all right. If you shave, use baby oil or lots of lotion afterwards. Smart, smart, smart. I always get chafing pretty bad. You're spitting.
I was having um, my uh, my brother-in-law. He lo- he's a huge fan of Don Operator, and he was uh, watching, or he w- he was trying to like tell his friends about me and how Don Operator flew me out, and uh, it was just cool. It was just like super funny to see like my older brother, my brother-in-law, just be like, "Yeah, bro, look how I got to hang out with Don Operator. It was so cool." He was talking to like his cop buddies and stuff. They were asking me about it. I should actually make sure these are good weights. No. I kind of messed up all these, and now they're all really small. Uh, that one's okay. Uh, we'll give this idea to stream. So I would be hanging out with my friends at the donut shop, right? Um, I would be having conversations with them. They would kind of drift off, and I would wonder what they were looking at or what they were paying attention to. And at times, they were just paying attention to like my hands and what I was doing, and they were saying, like, hey, bro, it's kind of mesmerizing to watch. And then the idea of, like, oh, well, I've always wanted to stream. Um, it's kind of like the classic, like, my generation, we just want to become YouTubers and stuff. Yeah, I just kind of was like, yeah, I've always had the idea of, like, it would be fun to do it. And I had the opportunity. Uh, I was like, shit, my phone's broken. Like, it's the camera still works. So I was like, all right, I'm going to just use my camera. And that's what I did. But um, yeah, I came up with the idea probably late March, May, probably, May of 2021. I uh, kind of thought about streaming heavily. Um, and then yeah, I broke, my, I broke my phone canoeing. It got some water damage, the SIM card wouldn't work, so I had to buy a new phone. But I decided to keep that phone for the camera because the camera still worked. It was a little blurry because I had water damage. Um, I had water in the lens, but it, was, it still worked. And it was pretty scuff. It was super scuff streams. I was using Streamlabs Mobile, the app. And that, if you don't know, that app is like horrendous. Uh, and that's what I first started streaming off on. And it worked out, popped off. Now I'm here. I definitely could have done a lot of things way smarter, like getting into TikTok and getting to YouTube way earlier. Um, I still, even to this day, have not gotten into the, any of that. And I feel like I've been very foolish in than me not doing it.
Um, Najimoko, uh, two, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. So, um, girl, okay. You have luxury of time. If you, um, you still can, if you want to in the future, look how awesome the stream is. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm probably gonna get um, some cool LED lights for the whole building. Uh, Luke's stepdad does it, and it would just be kind of like easy, and it would be kind of cool. Uh, I've had comments be like, "Yo, it's kind of dark in the back and ominous," and I've I felt that a little bit, and I feel like I should go get that taken care of. And I'll probably have it to where it might be even um, affectable. You might be able to be able to like mess with it uh, through stream. That'd be kind of cool. That's crazy. I just messed that up that bad. All right, what family members do I work with? I think I mentioned my mother. Yeah, so my mother owns a shop. My older brother is actually behind me. Um, my little siblings are helping in the front before school. Um, a, a lot, yeah, my aunt also helps. She helps clean. She also helps. She is also a donut finisher, so she can finish making the donuts if they are kind of waiting there, you know?
Um, how do you, uh, do you want to continue the family business for a long term? Um, I think it'd be cool if I like made it more of a, more bigger, right? So turn it into like a franchise, um, make more money that way. But I, I mean, I like to see what uh, YouTube or anything else could do for me. Um, I don't, I mean, the big money move would be opening a ton of different small franchise donut shops. Uh, that'd be like the biggest money move. Another money move would just be kind of relaxing and chilling and not really caring that much about anything and being super relaxed all the time. I could do that as well and what that would entail is doing really good on Twitch, doing really good on YouTube, um, making passive income like that. That would be the other plan I have. All right. Um, how come I couldn't throw them away? Um, so I made those too small, so I'm gonna have to make them into the uh, twists instead. Um, malls are not money move. Too expensive to rent there. I see, I see. Hmm. I hear where I live, similar, but not similar. A little horrific. Uh, beloved donut shop, owner passed, uh, bulgarized in his own home. Wow, 
and the family took over another donut shop story. Krispy Kreme moved into the same pizza of beloved small family donut shop. It was a major donut war. Small donut shop owners still winning business. That's good. That's good. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. That kind of sucks for both those families. It's good where I'm at currently because um, people just know that we're better. We have the better prices, we have better donuts. So people kind of just choose us over everyone else. So it's good for us. Good for our customers. Ever get sick of waking up so early in the morning? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I do, I do. I want to say every morning, but it's not every morning. Um, but yeah, no, most of the time I'm kind of like, dang, I really kind of dislike waking up this early. A lot of times I put time restraints on myself, and it's just kind of me being an idiot. Like I should just go to sleep earlier. Yeah, I should just do this and that. Um, sometimes it just kind of, kind of sucks. Here's a Prime Donut Seller in Tim Hortons. People love them for their coffee. Which one is it? What's the Prime Donut Seller? Prime Donut Seller in Tim, Tim Hortons. Uh, what time do I go to sleep and wake up? Um, I wake up at um, 1 a.m. Uh, 1, 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. is my general bed, bed waking up. Um, my bedtime is probably Depending if I go to the gym or not. If I don't go to the gym, my bedtime is 5 p.m. until 1, and as we go 8 hours. Um, if I am working, um, if I'm working out, um, I normally work out halfway through my sleep, and I'll wake up and go work out and then go back home and go back to sleep. If I do that, I go to sleep at 1 a.m., or what, sorry, 1 p.m., sleep until like 4 or until 6, and then I'll wake up and go to the gym a couple hours and then come home and sleep again. Yeah, I think I just really want to do YouTube. I, I'm like so anxious. Um, I've been very, uh, I've been feeling like an idiot for not doing YouTube and stuff. So I think that's gonna be like my main goal for like the next week is getting that done. I just need to make a video of me making donuts. It shouldn't be that hard. And then at, at all editing and stuff may be, may be a little difficult. Why don't I go work out at 1 p.m.? Um, there's classes. I'll, well, I don't know. When I work out, I like to work out with other people. So I could work out like right after, you know, right after work, work out then. Um, I, it's, I do boxing and stuff, kickboxing, jiu-jitsu. Kind of need other people to do it with. So there are, there are specific classes you can do. So everyone's there. Everyone knows when to show up. Um, in general, it's more fun whenever more people are there anyway. It's kind of like my social time as well, anytime I'm over there. Come and ride with me tonight, I don't need a warm horse for you. The big brain move would be I go to, I finish work, I go gym from like 10 until 12, so we get two hours of workout, maybe even 10 until like 11, uh, 11.30, and then I go and work on like everything else I need to do throughout the day, and I'll have a lot more time. The only thing that would suck is that I don't work out at the, my MMA gym. Um, I don't know, I have a fight coming up, but honestly I don't feel it. I just don't feel like fighting. I'm not motivated at all. Um, yeah, yeah, 
I was thinking like I would come back and I would feel motivated to fight, but I, I really just don't want to. Um, I kind of feel like I just have, not that I have better things to do, it's just like, I don't know, if I feel like, uh, the, the main reason I picked up the fight was because I feel like, oh, I haven't fought in a while and it'd be fun, but also, I don't know. What kind of fighting? It would be a kickboxing match. I wanted some motivation to lose weight, so I was like, well, a fight would be a good motivation to lose it. But I don't want to... I feel like I... I don't know. I might become obsessed. And I feel like uh, I'm not ready to become obsessed with, with anything yet. I need to, uh, need to work, focus on my YouTube and stuff first. Which, all it is, is I need to just edit it and do all that, all that good stuff. And it should only take me a couple of days. It shouldn't take me that long, but it's such a big thing in my head. It makes me feel like I need to I need to wait. Or it feels like I need to, uh, it feels like before I do that, I can't, I shouldn't think about anything else. We're gonna do a prediction on how many seminars you guys think we're gonna get out of this one. I'm gonna set it for, uh, I'm gonna set it for hmm. we're gonna set it for 15 seminars. You're not even sure you don't know how it look like. It's just gamble. You got five minutes, so you can wait until the end of it. Uh, but if anyone else, you got channel points, you've seen this gamble before, hey, come on, let's go. It's gamble time. Channel point time. I live it for five minutes. It's, we're not having too much chat activity, so I was hoping, like, give it a little extra time. Some people strolling around, seeing the gamble, like, oh, dang. I can make some channel points. what's up should you gamble or not you definitely should gamble you should gamble for sure you just put a little bit in not it looks like we don't got any gambles yet so you might as well just put a little bit in can convince the people the worst is i return the points i guess where's you actually lose some points
All right, you know what's crazy? Because I may have uh, cut these way too quick and the prediction isn't even over yet. We did not make a lot. Uh, eight. Wait, wait a minute. One, two, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, nice. Okay, there it is. Okay, cool. All right. Well, I guess you were the only one that predicted it anyway, so you win. But oh my gosh, I just remembered this was a song, the Lil Peep and Kanye West song. I'm a sick fuck. I like a <laughs> that's so crazy. I can't believe this is a real song. And the and the whole like YouTube video is them as boxes like Roblox characters. Fifteen is more than fifteen. I forgot how I said the prediction. I forgot if the bottom part or which prediction was which. If it was fifteen or more or fifteen or less, or and then more than fifteen or less than fifteen. But I'll just return your points because I think you were the only one to predict anyway. Get along then, get along. Fifteen or more, and then less or fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I specifically have one of them, so fifteen is its own number. Or fifteen, like, you know, if you were to gamble, like, uh, if because it was fifteen or less, and then fifteen and more, then it doesn't make sense because then no one technically wins, or it's a tie, you know. 